Did you spot the blooper in that scene? Bloopers can happen in any TV show, no matter how good they are. In this video, we look at goofs and bloopers you weren't meant to see on the classic 70s TV show, Wonder Woman, starring Linda Carter. Okay, in this uh, first season episode, Wonder Woman is catching a grenade thrown at her by the skin-diving Nazis. She catches the grenade, she throws it away, it explodes. Now where's the uh, blooper, you might ask? We'll take a closer look at where the grenade landed and where the explosion occurred. They are actually two separate locations, which obviously shouldn't be the case. In this scene, it looks like a stunt woman is being launched in the air and then they're cutting away to Linda Carter for the close-up. But what the heck is that dark figure in the background? Is it Bigfoot? I mean, is it a ghost? Is it just a stagehand helping her be launched in the air? What is going on here? Y you be the judge. Okay, in the Season 1 episode, The Feminine Mystique, Part 1, there's two bloopers visible. Okay, first Wonder Woman is shown outdoors with a dark colored wall behind her about to deflect bullets. Then, just a second or two later, we see Wonder Woman standing in front of a blue background. Most likely inside a studio. You could even see her shadow behind her on the wall. Then it cuts back to the MP and back to her, and now all of a sudden she's back in front of the dark wall outside again. Now if you look really close, you can also see a special remote in her hand that triggers the sparkling fireworks effect when bullets are supposed to be hitting her bracelet. And these days they would just use CGI, but still you have to admit sometimes practical effects register with your eye as being more real than computer generated images do. Now in the second season episode, The Deadly Toys, Wonder Woman is shown lifting up the back of a van as the bad guy tries to speed off. But just for a second, if you look closely, you can see that the van is actually jacked up in the back. In the Season 1 episode, Wonder Woman vs. Gargantua, a stool magically disappears when Diana Prince transforms into Wonder Woman. I wonder, was the stool completely destroyed when she turned into Wonder Woman? But then how did all the other furniture survive? Now back then they would use rolling tables to make lifting heavy people look effortless for Wonder Woman. Now look really closely towards your right at the man's hand and you'll see the edge of the table. For some reason on Wonder Woman they would uh, sometimes use real people and sometimes use dolls in the invisible plane. Which this is really noticeable if you're watching Wonder Woman on a big screen TV. Okay, watch how in the season one episode, Wonder Woman vs. Gargantuan, the man that the ape is supposed to be carrying down appears to be a dummy. That is, until he gets down off the building and instantly you can tell it's the actor again. Now in the episode, The Bermuda Triangle Crisis, season two, episode four, Wonder Woman drops a mine into what is supposed to be the ocean. But if you look really closely, it's obviously a swimming pool, which is really evident if you watch this scene on a big screen TV, the size of which did not even exist when the show first aired. Which is why most of us never noticed a lot of these bloopers back in the day. Just want to say thanks for watching TV Crazy Man channel, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and the like button. Oh, and just a friendly reminder, I am also not only the man that is crazy over TV, but I also like to write and draw. So if you get a chance, check out my sci-fi novel series, The Time Cruisers, or my family-friendly graphic novels like Caveman Comics, or The Monkey Monster Man. It's all at Amazon, under my secret identity of that of mild-mannered Tim Frady. Thank you. Thank you very much.